at 10 for the first time since the 80s, Wisconsin went red for a presidential candidate on election night. So what was different about this year besides everything? Corrine Zell traveled to Madison where a researcher has narrowed it down to rural Wisconsin. Courtney. That's right. Kathy Kramer spent the last decade traveling through the rural part of the state. She says there was a common theme everywhere she went. Rural communities felt overlooked and undervalued. And they think Donald Trump can change that. Some think Kathy Kramer predicted a Trump presidency since her book, The Politics of Resentment, was published in March. I would love to say, oh, of course, but no, I was surprised. The author grew up in Grafton and has spent the last 16 years working at UW-Madison. Since 2007, she's been studying the way people make sense of politics by spending time in 27 rural Wisconsin communities. The views really surprised me. She found people feeling like they're working hard to make ends meet, doing the same jobs in the same places as generations before them, but are worse off. And then comes along Donald Trump, who says, you're right. Professor Kramer says people in small town Wisconsin believe in the slogan, make America great again. They say they acknowledge that, you know, he says some pretty horrific things. He's kind of obnoxious, this whole like treating women badly thing. They don't look well upon. It's not his character that's appealing. The author says people connect with his message of change. What do you say to those people who think everyone that voted for Trump was a racist? Those are the most difficult conversations. She says race is part of it, but their feelings stem from a decade of frustration of wanting a different economic situation. Listening really, as painful as it is for people right now, I really think is key. I asked Kramer if she thinks any Republican could have made such an impact on Wisconsin voters. She said no, Trump had something special. The author revisited some of the communities after the election and says people are hopeful, but they don't expect change overnight. George and Carol. Fascinating. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you, Corinne. Well, Paul Ryan.